Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the global elitists, they are working on a new world order as they have been for years. But what these people are going for is total control, okay? Now, basically, what's holding them back from having total, because these people want global domination. They want to have control over the whole entire world. So the very thing that's hindering them from having total control is a cashless society. Because as long as we have cash, we can do whatever we want. We have free will. But once you go to a cashless society, when everybody's carrying around identification cards or whatever, well, I know what they, they're trying to push right now, what they're pushing globally upon every nation of the globe is biometrics, national ID cards. Give me, let me give you an example. Right now, if you go into a store with cash, you can buy whatever you want. Suppose you go into a store with a credit card, a Visa card, or whatever it is. You swipe the card. It says you owe this amount of transactions, so your card is frozen. You say, there's no problem. I just go into my purse. I pull out some cash. But in a cashless society, you cannot do that. And yeah, these are exactly what pe this is exactly what the globalists are working on. They're working on a new world order. They want total control. Total control. That's why they said the next generation's identification is biometrics. They want everybody to hand over their biometrics. Biometrics stands for three measurements of the body. They're going to do a measurement of your hand, your face, and your eyes. Now, once you hand over that information into their database, you are forever a marked person wherever you go because you're, you're handing over it, your information to them, and they know exactly who you are. They know everything about you. This is exactly what's happening. And yet the Bible prophesied that this would happen, and yet it's happening. Now, I want to read you some quotes here. Listen to this because this is what the Antichrist is going to use. All the signs are here. Everything is pointing directly to the tribulation period. <coughs> so, every year, uncounted billions of dollars change hands in the underground economy. People avoid paying taxes by working for cash without making or keeping records. Billions are made in untracked and untaxed rooms from crime and in sooner fraud, drug dealers, recently to do business in centers of untaxed cash. Certainly the elimination of cash currency would legalize, put a stop to such legal dealings. Believe it or not, the system is already in place. ID technologies are advancing rapidly and some day will trap many because it will sound so reasonable and logic there are men and women in high places who know exactly what they are doing and what they want is control of your life exactly exactly listen to this part here throughout the entire history of man of humankind the control of all buying and selling and the tracking of all individuals has been impossible in fact for hundreds of years Skeptics have said such a day would never come, but now we have entered the computer age, and many United Nations bureaucrats are giving this idea serious consideration. Serious consideration. Even when you have to go to SeaWorld, you have to do a biometric scan. Walt Disneyland, you have a RFID bracelet on you. Like everything that's coming down the line right now. You guys can go check out my videos. I, I talked about this many, many times. Like, biometrics is a stepping stone toward the mark of the beast. Because what they want is total track. They want total control. They want to track, link, trace, scan us. They said you're going to have to thumb scan to travel. They're coming out with biometric computers that you're going to have to palm scan your hand to go onto the computer. It's crazy. You see, they create a crisis. They offer the solution. They say this is going to eliminate taxi invasions, prostitution, uh, bank robberies, etc. And yet, this is exactly what the Bible said would happen. Over 2,000 years ago, the Bible predicted that this day would come. But I want to say this. 
immediately after the rapture of the church. Now, the rapture is that sudden event where millions of people suddenly vanish off of the face of the earth. So you can imagine at this time, when millions of people just suddenly vanish, gone. There's going to be chaos throughout the whole world. Imagine Christian pilots, Christian truck drivers, etc. At the time of the rapture, this is going to leave chaos in the world. Now, at this time, people are going to be desperate for answers. They're going to want to know what happened, and so on. But the Bible clearly says that a, a world leader will emerge unto the world scene. Now, he will come as a man of peace there will be no intentions in anybody's mind that this man stands for evil. He will make the economy prosper. What he will have is four things. He will have a one-world government, a one-world economy, one-world currency, a one-world religion, and a one-world military power. It's just incredible the things that are happening right now. Because at one of their last meetings at the G20 summit, they were calling for, in the not too distant future, a global monetary leader. Imagine, a one world monetary leader. One person that controls all the money of the world. And yet, what does the Bible say? The Bible says exactly that. Nobody will be able to buy or sell. Nobody will be able to buy or sell. Unless they plead their allegiance and take a mark either on the right hand or on the forehead remember this future events cast their shadows before them the things that are going to be going on after the rapture of the church have to start happening now or else it can't happen after that's why they're getting all the preparations ready everything's setting in the stage everything is here it was impossible to control everybody 200 years ago but now, but now, because we're living in the computer age, there's no problem with tracking everybody. Everybody's tracked. Every email is read, text message, cell phones are listened to, etc. It's crazy. Because they have an organization, an echelon. It listens to all the telephone conversations, emails, faxes. No, regardless the language that it's in, it's all translated. So, anyways... I want to read this thing to you. It's just ludicrous just to think about it. Now they're saying we can, we can scan our veins from our hand. Welcome to the New World Order. It's exactly what they're doing. A global citizen. It's crazy. Look at this. Get ready to pay for things with your veins. Well, I'm not paying for anything with my veins. I'm not going to submit to their tyranny because that's exactly what it is. They always try to throw it on the society as a good thing. They create a crisis. They offer the solution. This is exactly what they're trying to make it all sound good. But yet, this has been part of their plan since the very beginning of time. God told us all about this way before it happened in the book of Revelation. But listen to this. This is what they're saying. Fingerprint scanners like those on the latest iPhone could soon give way to another biometric identifica identification. The glue of the veins in your hands, hackers in the Choice Computer Club last year fooled the app. So they fooled, fooled the app, Kitch ID, with unlocks the iPhone 5S when presented with a familiar finger by creating a copy of fingerprints reduce fingerprints the hackers wrote in a blog post are a terrible way to security your information you leave them everything when you touch things and it's relative easy to create fakes that fool the current scanners technology but it is yours still looking to replace passwords with biometric scans. There is still hope. We now have, yeah, there's still hope to enslave humanity for sure. We now have an increasing number of scanners that identify you by the pattern 
of veins, really. Just scan your hand. Pattern of veins in your hand instead. <coughs> Vein Goomer is just as unique as iris and fingerprint. The supreme network of your veteral system is certainly by many factors, including random influence in the womb. The result is a clinic to print even twice have different vein statures in their hands. Vein patterns don't change much as you age, so a scan of your palm can serve as biometric identification for the rest of your life. Really, for the rest of your life. It's not happening on me, I can tell you that. Fruitjits has already produced a system palm vein scanner as well as one into its laptops computer would report last month that the Japanese company might soon use them to unlock cell phones as well. Vein scanners could be used to unlock everything from your phone to your front door, but the technology may get its first mainstream use for fast and easy point of sale payment. You see, they always make it sound nice. This is going to be nice and fast and easy. And who doesn't want to be fast and easy instead of waiting in lines and all this? They always try to make it sound good, people. Payments. U.S. companies by this put at 2012 customers electronics show us plus wallet is the first to provide payments treatment that can take a palm scan to correct credit card and now a number of stores entering at land university in snowden other current a vein pattern payment system developed by standard free listen with 1,600 users, Landon considered his system to be the first financial one of its kind. You can see it in action here. Yeah, I can see it in action, all right. It's crazy. This is totally nonsense crazy people. This is what's coming down the line. This is what people need to realize of what's taking place. This is not a joke. You guys can even listen to my video. Go listen to it. I recommend because they have this place called, uh, what's it called? Yeah, Patient Secure. Because so many people come into the hospital, they have different names, they have same date of births, etc. So, so many people's medical information get confused with others, so we don't know which is which, so we don't know what what medication to give them because we don't know if it got mixed up because some people have the same name, the same birthday, so it's all confused. So we come up with a new thing to identify our patients with. You just go into the hospital and you put your hand on a machine, it scans your hand and your picture and all your information comes up on a nice computer. Isn't that so lovely and wonderful? I feel more secure. Yeah, right. This is all that it's about is control people. People need to realize this. Japan's going into it. I think the thing is called ZukiNet. Uh, Mexico is going into it. It's already in the immigration bill, and, and Obama passed it in the immigration bill. They're talking about by May or June that all the working Americans are going to have to hand over their biometrics. The FBI has been working on this like a billion something dollars. This is exactly what's taking place, people. Like they said, very soon, no more freedom. The government's going to know your every move. If that's what they're working on in the United States, they have been trying to push it, the Real ID Act, since Bill Clinton's time and many others. Right? There's just so many things taking place. But yeah, this is, what, this is what's taking place. But this is all leading up to the tribulation period because everybody, because it's going to be a one world religion, but with this Mark of the Beast thing, it's going to be connected to this one world religion everybody's going to have to worship one man. It's just incredible. Like, even people in the New Age movement, they say that they're, they're spirit guides. Many of these people that <clears throat> say they have experiences with extraterrestrial or aliens, but they're not aliens, they're demons. They're saying that 
they're saying for us to have a better world, we need to unite, we need to accept a social leader, we need a global economy, we need a world currency, we need a world religion, etc. Now, if you ask me, folks, it sounds like that they're supporting the Antichrist kingdom. <clears throat> Even people that said they had, um, they said that the Virgin Mary appeared to her. So let me tell you something. She's no longer a virgin, okay? But they're saying that Mary appeared to her and told them that to accept global unity, we all need to come together as one. This is going to stop war. We all become one. We're all living on the same planet. We all need to get along, so we're going to become one people, one nation, one world. And this is exactly what's happening, exactly what the Bible said, that in the last days, that there would be a one world government. One person is going to control the whole entire world, exactly what the Bible said. You see, Bible prophecy proves that the Bible is true. And everything that's happening. Everything's going electronic. They're getting rid of cash. Everything's headed towards a cashless society. Exactly what scripture said would happen. But anyways, when this world leader comes onto the scene, but this is not for us. For those of us that are in Christ, we'll be raptured out of here before. But those that find themselves left behind, do not be deceived if you find yourself still here. This world leader, he's going to come onto the scene. He's going to explain away the vanishing to say that aliens came or this is the next big step in evolution because many New Agers are saying that those people's bodies that are not ready to take the change for when the earth changes, those that don't fit here anymore will be taken out of the way because they were, they were hindering uh, harmony, global harmony and so on. So they're going to say, those people's bodies that couldn't take the change, they just uh, they couldn't take it, so they just evaporated. Or when they say, Mother Nature, if we don't do something very quick, she's going to have to force herself because <clears throat> she's aching inside. There's coming a, a cleansing. And this other person said, too, that before our world teacher can come onto the scene, this is the Antichrist. This is the Antichrist that they're talking about. Before our world teacher can come into the scene, <clears throat> a group of people will mysteriously disappear. So that's what they will probably, they'll, they'll say whatever lie they will say. This is a new technology that did it, or Mother Earth did it to, to cleanse all the negativity out, because the world is overpopulated, she's done us a great favor. So for those of you that are left, don't, take, don't be so afraid about it. Just the fact that you're still here shows you that those people that have been removed is because they were not the chosen. You have been chosen for this new race that is about to be born. Because that's what they're saying. Even Lady Gaga, in one of her videos, where she's coming out of the reptile egg, she says, because they're interviewing, what does this represent, you coming out of the reptile egg? She's like, this is representing a new race that is about to be born for all of humanity. Like, it goes on and on and on, people. This is for real. This is what's taking place. So this is all I wanted to say. <clears throat> so whoever's listening to this, do not hand your biometrics over to the government because they are control freaks, just like they said. Absolute power corrupts and absolute power corrupts. Absolutely. This is all part of the plan. This is all heading towards the Antichrist system to have everybody tracked, linked, and traced and monitored. They always say they use it for this purpose and they use it for totally something else. And we know that government is corrupt all the way down through history. Anyways, this is all i got to say. And uh, may God bless you all. And this is all i got to say. And God bless.